What the frick? The Ottomans just declared on me. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation you for in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order, of course. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a pretty important nation, a nation that everyone knows and that has a lot of fans as the Papal State. The Papal State is a nation located in Italy, and we are literally the Vatican, literally the Pope, playing as the Pope, by the way. We start off with two subjects right here, Urbino and Perugia, and of course, Papal ideas are really, really good. A very good mission tree, really good uh, government reforms and stuff like that. And playing as the Pope, being the Curia controller is super, super fun. With all of those modifiers, with all of these awesome national ideas, such as plus one diplo rep and plus 25% religious unity, plus 5% discipline as a finisher. In the meantime, plus two tolerance of the true faith, plus 20% national attacks, which is actually really powerful. Minus 1% prestige decay, minus 25% cost of fabricated claims, plus 10% production efficiency, plus one diplo free policies, and minus 10% aggressive expansion impact makes expanding as the Pope pretty easy for Italy so to say with all the aggressive expansion and diplo rep and improved relations modifiers so the Pope always a super super fun game and there are literally so many ways to play them and so many things you can do as them but what do we do as the Pope well this week it just so happens that I have to record this Pope video before uh, you guys actually watch the previous one so I actually can't take a look at the comments and what you guys tell me to do as the Pope so uh, luckily I'll get a break from your insane goals this week but not to worry because I have some insane goals as the Papal State for myself. All right, first, we're going to have to conquer all of Italy. Pretty standard, right? But obviously really annoying with all of the aggressive expansion in the high def provinces. Next, for our second goal, we're also going to have to form the Kingdom of God, which means we need to take Trent right here as well. That's just a little tiny, you know, bonus goal, nothing too important and stuff like that. But then for our final goal, we are going to have to conquer all of the Valencia, Genoa, Venice, and Ragusa trade nodes. So uh, you know what that means, right? We're going to have to fight Spain. We're going to have to fight France. We're going to have to fight Austria. And we're going to have to fight the Ottomans. Maybe I shouldn't have done this one, huh? Maybe I should have just chilled or something. Yeah, why did I do this? I said no insane goals, but this is this is probably just as hard as anything you guys would tell me. Either way, let's jump in as the Pope and do all of that. All right, all right, here we are as the Papal State, obviously starting off with the Papacy Tier 1 government reform, fix the kingdom, is the Pope, tolerance of the true faith, prestige per development from missionaries, and clergy influence, and stuff like that. But the other reforms right here are really, really powerful. Now, for our gameplay right here, we actually won't have to focus on our mission tree too much right here, man. Uh, maybe we'll do this one, you know, the allies for the diplo rep i don't know if we'll do the uh, swiss guard one we might uh, yeah, we'll pretty much do automatically these missions without really a focus on them too much. But the game plan right here is uh, uh, to just chill until Aragon lets Naples go for free. Then see if we can excommunicate Naples, fight them, start expanding down here. After these guys leave the HRE, start expanding into them. Ally France and Austria. And with their help, expand over in uh, over here in Valencia and in Ragusa down here. Basically beat up Castile Aragon and the Ottomans with their help. And then whichever is weaker out of France and Austria that's who I won't break my alliance with and I'll use one of them to beat up the stronger one I'll probably stay allied to Austria to help me beat up France over here and then uh, when I'm strong enough beat up Austria for these provinces right here and for Trent myself because Trent will be in the HRE so yeah that's the game plan man let me go ahead and do the estate stuff and uh, see what we can do the Pope starts off with a lot of crown so we could actually uh, seize and sell right at the start which is awesome now let me go ahead and set some rivals I'm actually gonna keep one rival slot open because um, well well, I'll want to uh, save it for Naples, so I am going to rival Provence right here. Let's see, let's do Florence as well, and I'll keep the other one open. All right, uh, let's go ahead and start um, looking for some allies, spying on Provence and on Aragon. And you know, the, the Curia controller modifiers, here they are, man. They're super, super awesome, especially the minus 20% aggressive expansion impact. Of course, we are going to want to stay, uh, what you call it, uh, the Curia controller as much as we can. Let's go with uh, the dev one. Where is the dev one? one uh there it is secured an alliance with austria and switzerland and there is france after a little bit of improving relations with them this is perfect so now we got uh the necessary allies that i want for this campaign might pick up someone else like hungary or poland depending what happens with them to help me beat up the ottomans and stuff like that castile only like to portugal and savoy right now which is excellent they haven't allied austria or england someone annoying which means uh 
Oh, however, France has Allied Aragon. Yeah, yeah, that's not something I wanted to happen. Hmm. We're gonna have to work around this or wait for the Iberian Wedding to fire and just fight them all together. But yeah, there's a mission for 100 Diplo points perfect. Now all we're waiting for is for uh, Aragon to let Naples go for free. That's our first war. Austria has not allied anyone else in Italy, which is excellent, which means... um. What you call it? Uh, none of these guys will stay in the HRE. So yeah, Provence, France has broken the alliance with them. That's perfect. We can gun for these provinces as well. Very important, by the way, especially uh, X-ray. Now, there we go. Naples has broken free. And actually, this sucks because I still haven't gotten a claim on them, man. The spy network on Aragon was too slow. And now it really doesn't matter. So with this event right here, I can uh, do nothing pretty much and actually let France have a PUC beyond Naples or I can um, force Naples to submit to us by military means which gives me the subjugation C beyond Naples. However, since a couple of patches ago this was changed and you actually can't take land if you use this CB. So this is not the CB we want to use in our first war versus Naples. In our first war we actually want to fight them regularly. Now I'm still going to go ahead and take this just because I don't want France to get it and so we can potentially use it in our second war if Naples still exists or is independent. Uh, but yeah, now I gotta spy on them and hope they don't get a strong ally by the time I spy on them. Let's see, let's go ahead and try and set them as our next rival. I don't think we can just yet, so I'll scornfully insult them first and stuff like that. I'll try and excommunicate them here. Uh, I can excommunicate Venice, the Teutons, and Lithuania. Not really relevant, any of them, for our initial wars. You kind of want to get Provence and Naples first. All right, sweet. Naples has rivaled me just now after I scornfully insulted them. I can rival them back, and let's see if I can excommunicate them. I can. I can. This is exactly the start we want. Perfect. Okay, perfect. A month has taken by. Let's go ahead and excommunicate Naples. Excellent, man. And now we got that CB on them for these three provinces, which is perfect. They've allied Savoy, which is going to be a little bit of annoying since I can't get anyone to help. But uh, let's see. How are my favors with Switzerland? I might be able to call them in soon after. But we got to declare here immediately because otherwise they might get, um, what you call it, other, uh, other, other allies. Other allies. All right. Yeah, there's an another mission the swiss guard thingy uh i am gonna get the swiss guard merc company a general with 60 tradition right right that's why i i always do this when i play the pope man i always waste the 50 mil points on hiring look oh he is absolutely insane. The absolute madman. Let's find the Swiss Guard as well. They're not here yet. All right, there's the Swiss Guard. Really good, as cheap as the Free Company as well. And I'm going to go ahead and declare immediately right here for the excommunicated ruler on Naples. Let's go ahead and get it. Obviously, France would call me into this, but that's irrelevant. That always happens. All right, siege them down. Beat them up in quite a few battles over here. Now I can call in Switzerland as well. They'll help out with uh, Savoy. We really got to knock out Savoy right here, man. I wish they allied someone less annoying but oh well okay peace out savoy for uh, war reps and money no need to drag this out any longer even though having you siege down what we're gonna do with naples in this initial war is uh this yeah i think this looks pretty good man uh these are the three provinces we have the excommunicated ruler cb on and then i'm gonna take these right here as well because why not or will that be too much aggressive expansion hmm because we do want to fight Provence here pretty soon, right? And their provinces right here are pretty high dev. And I don't think we can excommunicate them. So it's Naples, Provence, and then we're going to chill until these guys leave the HRE. Hmm. I just don't want to be too aggressive here right at the start, boys. So I'm actually only going to go ahead and take... Mm, 20, 38... Yeah, I'm only going to go ahead and take these three provinces. We don't want to spend way too much admin points either. And I'm not going to get no money, no war ups, no humiliation, nothing like that. We want to be done right here immediately because in the next war, hopefully, Naples will still be independent. We can use the subjugation CB, subjugate them, and then reconquer their cores over here from Aragon. That's the game plan. So my troops are right here. I'm actually going to go ahead and go to Avignon. Let's go ahead and uh, reduce war exhaustion some more. I spent like 300 diplo points on this. Core this up and wait for the right time to strike on Provence. Now, I need another Italian ally, man. Let's go with Genoa for now. I did not spawn the Renaissance. Okay. Uh, yeah. And by the way, to form the Kingdom of God, let's take a look at the requirements. We need to own pretty much everything over in Northern Italy, man, including uh, Trent right there, which is not in Italy, but it is a uh, Venetian culture. So yeah, that's one of our goals, man. Take this decision, become the Kingdom of God. The other goal is take over all of Italy, which of course, I guess sort of comes automatically with the fact that we got to take over all of Genoa and Venice. But then yeah, Italy will do. 
easily. But it's still gonna be annoying because it's gonna be so slow. But then, man, all of Valencia and all of Ragusa. Yeah, actually, all of Venice, too, is gonna be annoying, right? Because Austria has this. So, yeah, for all of Venice, we gotta fight uh, Austria. For all of Valencia, we gotta fight Aragon and potentially Castile and France. For all of Ragusa, we gotta fight the Ottomans a couple of times. And actually, let me limit myself as well to only expanding in those uh, trade notes with the addition of Trent because we gotta get it for the um, Kingdom of God. Okay, so I've created enough favors with the Genoa and Switzerland to call them into this war versus Provence. Unfortunately, we can't excommunicate them. They've bought indulgence for their sins. Uh, I wish we could, but eh, we, we still gotta go for it before France does, because they will. So let's call uh, so let's uh, call in Switzerland and Genoa. Yeah, Milan is gonna be annoying to peace out, but we can do this. Yeah, okay. Oh, I could call an Austria into this as well. No big deal. We don't need to. Now, look, Provence is just getting ganked now. Tier 2 government reform time while we're waiting to peace out Milan right here. So we got the internal mission for tolerance and uh, stuff like that. External mission is one I usually go with uh, simply because it's a mill bonus. This is for colonization. So this is for sailors. Don't need that. Uh, balanced mission expansion is... All no, don't need that. Commercial. This one is actually really, really good as the Pope as well, man. Uh, but I think we are going to pick up trade anyway. Oh, right. I didn't mention another goal, man. Uh, another one of my goals was to have everything be Catholic. So we are going to have to do quite a lot of converting in the Balkans. I forgot to mention that at the start. So there's an extra goal right there as well. So fort defense. this is pretty good, actually, too. But hmm, I, uh, I'm actually going to go with this. I think we're done right here since Provence will give us what we want. Can't humiliate them. Uh, no need to get war reps because they'll get full annex. Let's just take their money and be out of here because they are about to get full annex. Brittany's going to take this. Burgundy's going to take stuff here. So we're done. Definitely don't have the admin points to core this up. Jesus Christ, because it's already in a state. But yeah. Now, I think it's time to just chill until these guys leave the HRE. Yeah. Now that we're done with that and we have tech four in every category, I actually do need to bump up Rome right here to 30 dev. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, just a quick check. Naples hasn't gotten any super strong allies. And in fact, we'll fight them before we fight the HRE guys, man. Our truce is going to be up in 1458. So yeah, this is our next war. In four years, we're going to fight Naples, attempt to subjugate them so we can later reconquer their course from Aragon. Something I forgot to do is actually tell these guys to collect in Venice and uh, Genoa and tell them to establish communities man i know they start off in like valencia and alexandria this is you know to get our improved relations up and to help avoid coalitions and stuff like that embrace the renaissance just now just helping out switzerland in some whatever here vatican library oh this is a good one let's just go with the military arts one well burgundy went to oldenburg and it was an insta annex so like they got burgundy and then the next month thick the horse event happened or something like that that's insane <laughs> Is Oldenburg a great power now? Oh, there's the Iberian wedding. Yeah, well, at least France is no longer allied to uh, Aragon, and that means they would potentially help us out in a war versus Castile. Oh, yeah, they would. Easily. Yeah, we can take them very easy like this. Perfect. Meanwhile, my truce with Naples is up. I don't have the excommunicated ruler CB anymore. Doesn't matter. Either way, we were gonna what you call it, not use it, and instead use the subjugation CB. Why have I fought Savoy three times now? Yeah, let's go ahead and subjugate Naples, man. This should be easy. Ah, I can see that uh, Bologna has become a free city in the HRE, which means they will not leave. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find a workaround to fight Bologna. Oh, maybe, maybe we're gonna fight Venice, though. Super easy war done. Let's just see the damage from aggressive expansion right here if we make them our vassal. And it's actually not that bad. Perfect. I'm not even going to take any more land from them. We don't need to waste any other points on that and stuff like that. Let's just go ahead and take as much money as we can. And boom, there we go. Naples is our subject. Perfect, man. Perfect. Now, they are going to be super disloyal. Sure. We can go ahead and um, maybe pay off their debt. They don't have any debt. Let's just go ahead and placate them a couple of times. Just like that. And I'll start improving relations with them. And uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, these these are the best events we can get here. Perfect. There we go. Naples is loyal. <laughs> Ooh, look, man. See, if I want to declare directly on Castile, Austria wouldn't help out. But if I want to declare directly on Aragon, Austria would help out. And France would as well once their truce with them is up. Or they don't have a truce. Wait, that's Armagnac. Yeah, they do have a truce. Perfect. So maybe in three years, we can actually fight Aragon. Damn, this is a really good start for this campaign, man. Really, really good. Can we excommunicate someone? Oh, yeah. We'll be using this pretty soon. Dude, in that war versus these guys, we'll get Naples' stuff back. We'll take freaking Corsica. We'll get some stuff here to release, uh, what you call it, Valencia and Catalonia. Yeah, it's gonna be so easy. Now, this is something interesting, man. Hesse has been elected HRE Emperor. Hmm, I guess that makes it easier to fight Trent later, or maybe Bologna too? 
Either way, first idea group time. I already know what I'm going to take for this entire campaign. It's going to be a quality trade quantity. Uh, and then if we get their economic as well, or maybe religious to help us convert stuff over here. But yeah, we're going to open up with quality for sure. Actually making some pretty nice money now to uh, let's go ahead and lower autonomy somewhere as well. That may put us above 10. Yeah, nice. 11. Obviously, let's go with galley combat here. Let's go ahead and give the nobles the integration policy right here. And let's annex... Um, um, Perugia and Urbino. Okay, so Francis Shoes with Aragon is up. Let's go ahead and check this once again right here. And yes, all of the boys would come in, man. Perfect. All right, this is going to be super simple, man. Let's declare a reconquest for Messina right here since it is the fort and the first province we got to siege from them. Let's call in France, Austria, Switzerland, Genoa. Austria isn't really that powerful this game. They don't have Bohemia, no Burgundy, no Hungary, no subjects. They're not the emperor, but they still will be a useful ally. So yeah, there's our declaration. We got way more troops than them. In this uh, war, the goal is to get Naples' scores back, get Corsica, and get provinces to release Catalonia and Valencia from. I've also annexed both of the, the subjects right here. So yeah. Tier 3, got reform time right here. This will probably, or actually no, this will probably come in very useful later when we want to convert the Balkans. But for now, I'm going to go with uh, this one for the advisor discounts. Why are these guys just standing there? First of these thingies, let's do justified wars. And I think we're pretty much done right here with uh, Castile and Aragon after just piecing Portugal out. So what we're going to do is give all of these provinces right here back to Naples. No one sieged down Corsica, funnily enough, even though Genoa did land right here then i'm gonna take this for myself and then perfect so i'm gonna take these two provinces as well to release valencia and catalonia from there's war reps there's a little bit of money as well and that's my war with these guys for now done I think we will need two more wars versus these guys in order to get the Balearic Islands and all of these provinces right here in the uh, Valencia trade note. But for now, I'm pretty satisfied. Let's go ahead and release Valencia just like that and Catalonia just like that. And we can reconquer their course from over here later on. Perfect. Let's go back home and I don't know, tell these guys to what you call it, siege. Finally, unlock the production buildings as well. But yeah, now we're going to chill a little bit. AE isn't really that bad. I did manage to excommunicate Florence uh, just for this one province province right here i am gonna chill for about a year to three years and then see which one of these guys up here we start fighting that's that's the next goal man ottomans aren't looking really that aggressive this campaign bosnia is actually still alive albania is alive yeah i think these guys will survive for a little longer due to that hungary relation that they have but uh yeah we do need to we do need to fight venice eventually and actually this is pretty good man not a lot of their boys would join we can take this from them and stuff over here to release Dalmatia and potentially Serbia from this province. That would be really good. But they're in debt, huh? Hmm. I'm actually going to ally Hungary here. I got that stupid boat bug, man, where you can't uh, move your troops and stuff. <laughs> oh, now I can. I mean, shoot, Naples has all its cores back. Might as well improve with them and annex them. Uh, I can't improve that much. Uh, maybe I should have broken my lance with Genoa a bit ago, but... What am I helping them in? Now, let's hope they don't expand too much. Hey, I can actually excommunicate Venice. Uh, really doesn't matter since I only border one province and that's already a core. So there's really no point in excommunicating them. Maybe that would make their allies less likely to join. So I am going to do it anyway. This looks like about as good as time as any to declare on Venice. The goal in this war is to take Ravenna and... Uh, Pretty much everything that they might have over in the Balkans if I can. Release Ragusa maybe, or not Ragusa, sorry. Release Dalmatia maybe. Release Serbia for sure. Yeah, we'll see what we get up to. Oldenburg is having a really good game. They just got elected HRE Emperor. Ah, <laughs> oh, what now? There goes the alliance with Genoa. So we're pretty much done with Venice right here, man. Nothing more we can occupy since no one can land on the Knights. Oh, and we can't actually get to Venice because of their boats. What I want from this war is this right here. So my core back and then all of these provinces right here. And then we can release Serbia and uh, Dalmatia from here. Not taking anything over here because it's been occupied by Austria. But of course, they still won't give it to me. So I am going to try and hold out for uh, this. In the meantime, sure, I guess I can take these since we're going to be waiting a bit more. Let's go and take um admin seven not take diplo seven and instead i'm gonna pick up trade right here you know what i guess i can start building galleys man maybe we actually can beat them let's uh you know let's just start building them everywhere yeah start building a bunch of galleys meanwhile it's time for two four gov reform obviously we're going with the head of the catholic church right here province of the true faith diplo rep improve relations devotion max absolutism a point cardinal cost yeah really really good uh all around oh hungary and is in some sort of war oh the ottomans declared on albania 
Okay. Okay, so galley spam was useless. <laughs> Let's just cancel all of these and get our money back uh, because Venice is finally willing to accept what I'm offering them. So yeah, the core back and a bunch of provinces over in the Balkans, some of which we can uh, use to release various nations. So there's um, Dalmatia popping out of Ragusa and there's Serbia popping out of Kataro. Perfect. Uh, we can reconquer these three Dalmatian cores later, but also right now I'm currying favors with Hungary to get these two back for free and then there's a bunch of serbian cores that we can reconquer here i guess these right here expired no big deal so yeah we're chilling now what i'm also gonna do is uh, set all of these provinces in bosnia as provinces of interest so maybe serbia and ragusa can uh sorry serbia and dalmatia can spy on them and then maybe we can catch them without hungary coming in all right it's time to annex uh, naples now i'm gonna try and delay the spawning of uh what you call it <laughs> Uh, the Protestant Reformation as much as I can because that might mess with some of our provinces being Catholic. I don't want the zeal to be active and stuff like that and me to not be able to convert them. When did... Oh, I thought Tunis took Korzak. Actually, they might. Frick. <laughs> yeah, they probably will. Yeah, they declared for Korzak. Tunis is gonna take it. Ugh. I guess we can take it back when we fight the Ottomans since they're allied. Meanwhile, I can ally Poland. They have Lithuania. They should be of help versus the Ottomans later. So I am going to do that. I know we're like way over relations limit. I'm actually going to start focusing on dip here. There we go. Hungary will already give us one of the Dalmatian cores back. And let's see. I guess for the other one, we don't have the um, yeah, favors yet. Probably we'll need like 50 favors for this one since we need like 20 something for this one. Ah, 36 favors. Okay, not bad. Oh, poor Hungary, man. They made some really bad decisions with the guarantees over here here they're they're about to die to the ottomans again the ottomans already took like these provinces from them now they're fighting bosnia they're gonna take some more oh well what are you gonna do and by the way my boys still don't have a cb on bosnia so i can't declare at this point either now what i'm actually gonna do right here is and this might be a little stupid but i'm gonna force serbia to be catholic yeah yeah as expected hungary lost more land uh all right let me grab that other dalmatian core man and now i'm gonna break my alliance with them at, at this point they're just a liability if the ottomans declare on them they're frick and i'll have to help them out this actually grows so quickly there's no point in uh, doing this man it's a thousand three hundred and fifty percent uh, faster yeah whatever it's not like you use this money for anything else though i'm gonna fight sienna now let's call in france yeah just france all right this war is uh done now around this point man i feel like we're big enough to where we can start checking if anyone will accept being diplo vassalized and so no way do diplo vassalizing milan would actually be insane i'm gonna try and do it with them in salute so and there it is there's the protestant reformation good thing it didn't spawn too close to us so yeah we might have a little trouble with this later on but we'll see nice so salute grew a bit but them and milan i can both get up to 190 and they would both still be willing to accept a diplo vassalization after that uh parma i might be able to get them there Mantua maybe I don't know let's see Ferrara actually maybe Ferrara too Bologna though no way yeah of course so yeah we could be able to nab a couple of provinces here for free sucks that Switzerland expanded over here a little bit sucks that Genoa got big sucks that Tunis took Corsica but aside from that I think we're having a pretty good game man yeah and there's Naples annexed awesome and I see now Parma would accept too silly actually almost would even though they're in the HRE that's that's pretty good yeah we're gonna get away with a lot of non-wars here oh wait I didn't need this did I yeah, I said I wouldn't expand outside of these four trade nodes to limit myself. So actually, I shouldn't have even taken this from Venice. Let's just go ahead and release Greece. Why not? When do you ever have these guys as a subject? And what I'm going to do is give them... Uh, Noxos as well. There we go. Cool. Yeah, didn't even notice that these aren't in Ragusa, man. My bad. They're always kind of weird since they're not in Ragusa. They're not really in the Balkans. They're in Anatolia. I wonder what's the criteria for that. Maybe it's a different tectonic plate or something, but yeah. Um, they don't need to be Catholic, by the way, since they're not in the region we care about or the uh, trade node that we care about. There's Saluzzo Diplovassalized. Dope. Wait, actually, I got a lot of these guys. It's going to start getting annoying. They're already rowdy and I don't have like influence or anything like that. Hmm. And there's no one really to annex. You know, these new guys, of course, we can annex them right away. But OK, I think it's time to grow Valencia and Catalonia, man. Who's going to help out here? Milan, Switzerland. France. We got more troops like this. I wish Austria would join a little bit. Trust, huh? Maybe we can trade favors for trust. There's actually Milan vassalized as well. And let's see. Yeah, we just need to get these guys above 50, man. Let's trade favors for trust. I'll do it like, uh, like this. Yeah, perfect. Now they'd help. Awesome. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's declare a reconquest on Aragon for the Catalonian cores. Let's do a reconquest for Barcelona. Uh, I'll think, I think I'll take this and uh, these islands. And then in the next war, we'll take this and uh, these provinces. So yeah, doing this war, it's all right. You know, the previous one was kind of tough. This one's kind of tough as well, but we'll be able to win it, win it either way. There is a, a Roman Navy, apparently. Okay, we're done with this war. I'm going to give everything here back to Catalonia, and I'm also going to take the Balearic Islands. In the next war, we'll finish them off, and I think the next one will be our, our uh, final one versus uh, Castile and Aragon. I am going to take uh, war apps and money this time. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, diplovasilize Parma here, because I have all the relations up and stuff like that, and they will accept, but it is also time for me to break my alliance with Switzerland, because we do need to conquer provinces from them. Let's go ahead and annex Catalonia as well. Wow, I actually didn't notice this. Not good. Age of Reformation has started. We've rebuilt the papal treasury and restored Korea funding. Uh, time for tier five government reform. We got the condottieri contracts right here, which uh, actually fares pretty well if you do a merc play through with the Pope, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we are going to go, uh, let's see, organize military staff. Dude, I'm so stupid, man. Uh, what I'm going to do is really uh, Switzerland. They'll give me back these Milanese cores for favors. Yeah, there's Milan for 60 favors, and there's a uh, Chum as well, apparently. Perfect. Now I can break my alliance with them. And just as colonialism spawned, I've annexed uh, Valencia. Catalonia, sorry. Let's annex Saluzzo as well. They don't got any cores we can reconquer. Let's do a reconquest on Milan's cores that Genoa has, and I might take something for myself as well. Also, did I really never break my alliance with Hungary? I'm still allied to these guys. I just noticed because I called them into a war. Yeah, I do need to break that alliance. Just a white piece on Venice since we'll deal with them later. We got cores to reconquer from uh, them as well. But uh, yeah, let's give these two back to Milan right here. That's not a lot of A at all. And let's see, what is this? Do I do it? No, I don't think I do it. I think we do this. Nice. Oldenburg is actually not doing too bad in the HRE. Uh, Sistine Chapel related events right here. Um, I think I'll take the improved relations. Or no, I'm not that aggressive, man. Let's just go for the missionary strength. Even though I'm really struggling with Diplo points here, I am going to continue to annex vassals, man. Oh, the, uh, the Ottomans have allied Muscovy. Look, Wallachia, Bushkiria, Tunis, Hormuz. Yeah, Tunis and Muscovy are going to be annoying to peace out. Even with all of my boys coming in here, and that's Lithuania here too, this is going to be extremely, extremely difficult. I think the game plan right here might be for me to gun for Tunis. Hope that these guys go for Muscovy. And then all of us to conversion the Ottomans. But you really can't rely on the AI to do that. We need to be bigger for this. Way bigger. All right, I've annexed Parma too. That's about all the guys we can annex for now. The rest of these guys, we need to give, that, uh, give back their cores or Greece to do nothing with that actually so yeah let's just wait for a little more here and we're gonna declare on venice to get milan scores back uh what you call it dalmatius core back and i'm gonna take some provinces for myself all right truce with venice is up let's do a reconquest for bergamo call in all of the boys right here oldenburg is gonna be in this which is gonna make it a little annoying but no big deal Oh, nice. So, uh, I am already building it, though. Right, you know what I'm gonna do? This is gonna bump it up by one, right? So, what I'm gonna do right now is get indebted to the burgers so we can uh, speed this up and finish it, just like that. Now it's a tier one. So, now if I click this, it goes up to tier two. Perfect. Good thing I was already building it, huh? Oh, there's colonialism, too. Nice. And we're done here. Nice. Okay, let's give uh, let's give this back to Dalmatia. Give these two back to Milan. That's not a lot of AE at all. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, well, what's the dev on this? 31, 19, 12. Yeah, all of them are super down. I feel like I got to do something like this this time. Uh, let's be more patient. Let's be more patient. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Oh, look at this. Portugal actually wouldn't help out uh, Aragon. It's just going to be me and France, but... Yeah, yeah, I think we can do this, man. Break it, let's declare. Ah, see, I knew it, I knew it. That's what you, that's what you get for forgetting to break your alliance, boys. Now we're gonna lose Diplorep and Prestige. Frick. And these guys are gonna lose trust with me. Let's see, let's check the allies. 58, okay, more than 50. Less than 50, I gotta trade favors for trust with uh, France here. Now we're good. Those are actually my only allies. Poland, though? Yeah, let's trade favors for trust with Poland, too. Nice, they'll accept. So we're giving Valencia all of their cores back, and I'm taking the rest of the stuff. Basically, full annexing Aragon here, and now we're gonna own everything in the Valencia trade node, which means our conquest uh, west, or at least in Iberia, is done for now. Okay, perfect. Perfect, man. I'm digging this quite a lot. Okay, so one of the four big guys we needed to fight is already done. 
Austria isn't really even that big and they don't have strong allies so yeah they'll be easy France France is going to be really annoying and their allies are annoying and the Ottomans of course with their alliances are going to be absolutely stupid but one of the four main bosses for this campaign is down now what I'm thinking, uh, we use France and Austria's help to beat up the Ottomans fully, by the way, take everything from them. Then with Austria, with their help, even though they're not really that strong, I beat up France for just five provinces. Man, I wish we could release someone like um, Toulouse down here, but yeah, it's really just not an option without any province here. Yeah, Toulouse or freaking Gascony would be perfect, but yeah, no way to do that. So yeah. Well, let's just continue pummeling guys in Italy and we'll try and find an opportunity now to strike on the Ottomans. Oh my god, Hungary basically disappeared. <laughs> uh, Bohemia and the Ottomans took major advantage. So yeah, what do you want me to say, man? Look, my, my all my boys would still help out, but... Yeah, there's no one else to get the help here. Bohemia, we can't ally them. And no one else is relevant. What the frick? The Ottomans just declared on me. Or... Or they declared on 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 Greece. See what I, I think the AI doesn't know. I'll I'll get these guys in. But this is actually good, man. This is good. This way we're not fighting Tunis. We're not fighting Muscovy. Our numbers are way superior, right? Yeah, yeah. I I didn't think I don't think these guys knew that these guys would come in. Look, France is so powerful. Poland is really strong. So is Lithuania. Austria came in. All of my other boys. I think we can beat them. Not, not. We can't beat them easily, but we can definitely beat them, man. Um, let's go. Let's go there. And since I got so much money, I'll actually go ahead and get um new burger loans too. Or actually, I can't. Let's just go ahead and get some regular loans. And I'm gonna get a merc company or two up. Let's get. Where, what are the Swiss guys doing? Okay, let's get the Swiss guys up, and I'll get the free company up as well and yeah i think we're good maybe the gascon musket company sure really unexpected but if, <laughs> if, if if there's one way to beat them it's it's this it's just that we didn't do the reconquest uh cb on them so i guess what we'll do here is try and take as much as we can that's uh not serbian cores so maybe stuff here and here i won't be releasing byzantium by the way oh frick dude oh Tunis and Muscovy have joined. They have called them in when they realized all my boys joined too. Okay, I don't think Tunis is really going to be a problem. Their army isn't even that big, but Muscovy is going to be a problem now. Can I trust my boys to hold stuff down over here while I actually go ahead and beeline for Moscow? Yeah, this complicates things quite a lot. If Greece is the only thing they want, man, I guess I could just give it to them, honestly. But nah, they're gonna want more. And the war is too short for that. If we separate peace Tunis and Mo Muscovy, we can make them break their alliance with the Ottomans. So we won't have to fight them later. Yeah, you know what? Let's abandon everything here, man. I'm just gonna gun for Muscovy. There we go. Muscovy is actually out. Interestingly, all of us went for them. So yeah, we can knock them out here and make them end their alliance with the Ottomans. Cool. Now I gotta retreat via the north uh, path here. Go back to, well, actually, my own land frick so let's do something like that and then we'll emerge here i don't know what we're gonna do with tunis no one can really go for them i think something that could help us here is calling for a crusade versus the ottomans we'll get some uh nice modifiers right here morale of armies tax manpower plus 30 percent everyone uh that's fighting them so this is actually really good something that we can do just lost a big battle here uh quantity i'm gonna go quantity i need it to get way bigger armies since we are rich enough to have huge armies internet's finally back by the way Austria got pieced out. They really weren't that important. Uh, France and Poland getting pieced out. That's it. If that happens, I can't win. Let's try and offer them this again, man. They still won't accept. They want other stuff as well. Whereas I need Crete, for example. I need everything else. If France and Poland get pieced out, I'm going to have to give them more. I am going to keep going here for a little bit more, but I don't really know what we can do. Them calling in Muscovy and Tunis really didn't change a whole lot. The situation would have probably been the same. Yeah, they, they've started sending me offers. Nah, this is way too much, man. Poland's out. Poland is out. Ah, oh, frick. France is out too. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. We're not winning this. <sighs> We're not winning this. You gotta know when to cut your losses, boys. But the good thing about me is I don't know when to cut my losses. You see, I'm so rich that I can run this war forever, Ottomans. You're about to see that, boys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we can do right here, huh? Let's see. There we go. There's all the merc companies up. There we go. I can't freaking get over to Noxos to unsiege it, man. That's what's freaking with me here, dude. I did unsiege it. There's, um, there's freaking prospering times. Just got Constantinople as well. Now what? Now what? What are you gonna do? 
I'm, I'm probably pretty close to bankruptcy, so let's hurry this up. Tunis is low as well. All right, since we've pretty much sieged down all of the Balkans, I gotta get rid of a lot of companies here since I already have like almost 30 loans. So let's just get rid of all of these like um, named ones and stuff like that. There we go. Let's stay with the independent grand free company. They still got, they still got about, um, what's this? Like 60k troops, man. So, oh... Uh, they're about to cross right here, man. Let's call it. So <laughs> there's really no need to drag this out for any longer. I mean, it's such a horrible situation. Let's give these cores back to Dalmatia. Can I connect myself here? Yes, I can. So I am going to take these down here. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. This could be a lot of help. No, they won't give it to me. Yeah, I'm just going to do that, I think. Or maybe war reps. I do have a lot of freaking loans, man. They aren't going to give me war reps. <laughs> the biggest war i've done <laughs> in a while all for nothing at least at least i didn't lose all right let's try and get ourselves out of this situation 31 loans paying 34 ducats in interest i love it hey at least we can get burger loans uh i'm gonna do this uh i am gonna sell titles and seize land there's some money let's pay off as many four percent loans as we can we apparently couldn't pay off that much but we're back and making a little bit of money <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was just so extremely difficult. We're fighting them at their, you know, peak or whatever you want to call it. At least they're not allied to Muscov anymore, although they could rally each other. But it's obvious that, like, France and the Commonwealth weren't enough to beat these guys. Everyone just got pieced out. I'm going to try and link with Bohemia here. They might help out a bit if they don't like them. It may be QQ. They're allied to the Timurids, so... How strong are the Timurids? They don't seem to be that strong, but maybe we could find an ally to come in from this side as well. So I'll try everything that I can here, man. And look, another thing to, you know, throw a wrench into our gears right here, man. Uh, guys in Italy are converting. <laughs> I gotta start paying attention here. Our real chance is gonna be once our truce with them expires in seven years. And if they declare on the Mamluks again, which they probably will. The Mamluks aren't that strong, but at least their armies will be down here. Wrapped up trade, which is a good thing since now we can take this, which is a very nice policy. But on the other hand, of course, everything can't be smooth because now Valencia is being supported by Castile. Their independence, I mean. So Castile's not powerful, man. I really don't care about this. They're not going to declare independence. It's just an annoying thing that I'm probably going to have to deal with somehow. So yeah, convened the Council of Trent, by the way, but fine. Well, shoot, actually, maybe I could get this in this war. Tier 6 got reform time, by the way. Tolerance, absolutism, appointment colonel cost, monthly favor, growth, land of fire, manpower, and true faith. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's the battle pope right there. Rulers can be generals and manpower and true faith. <laughs> Are we even rivaled? Oh, that's a loss for, for Valencia. I mean... <laughs> I mean, I lost Valencia. We have to fight Russia somehow to get rid of that because otherwise I can't integrate them. And then we can't have the goal be accomplished. I didn't say a subject should own this. I said I should own it. This is looking like it's going to be our first failure in a while, boys. Austria got a piece out and uh, France actually did give me this, which is cool, I guess. <laughs> Too bad I couldn't select freaking, um, what you call it, Trent right there or... Yes, sorry. Okay, so now the Ottomans did just declare an AQ, which I guess, yeah, is allied to the Mamluks. So they are doing a pretty big war, man. Now, my truce with them isn't up yet, so... Oh, it's gonna be up in a few months. Okay, there we go. Now it's up. No one. See, France is already in this war uh, with Brittany, which England is, by the way, also in. The Commonwealth is... They would join if they weren't fighting Russia right now. And then QQ just isn't down. They're in another war as well. And the ruler is malevolent, so... There's the opportunity right there flying right past me. In the meantime, I can't afford to wait around, man. So I'm just going to declare Ferrara right here since Florence won't help them out. Florence did end up coming in, but it's good since I can make them end their alliance with France. We're done. Obviously a full annexation. There's a mission, though. Finally, this one. The opening uh, conquest missions for the Pope are so stupid, man, since you need to fight here first. Let's annex Milan. Look at who I gotta fight if I want to conquer Bologna, man. Why did this game become so difficult? I swear I should have just waited in for your guys' goal instead of making up mine. Now look, interesting development here. The Ottomans are fighting Nogai, I guess because they're helping out Bashkiria, which... I don't know how huge it is. They might be super annoying to peace out as well. But their huge army is probably somewhere over here, man. So if I declare on them right now, the Commonwealth, France, and Bohemia would join. QQ would as well with the promise of land. It's not like we got like way more troops than them. It's probably like double, honestly. But that's still not way more troops than the Ottomans. Because, you know, they just pull them out of thin air. But is this the right opportunity to strike? I sort of wanted to stabilize more, make more money. Manpower is back up at a decent level. I think we should declare here. Honestly, I think we should declare. Let's get them back here. Let's get into debt once again. Not as big as last time, though. Since this time, I'm going to get the uh, independent army up only. 
I think we can do it like this. France, they're pretty good. Bohemia, Bohemia is good. The Commonwealth, the Commonwealth is good too. QQ, yeah, not that powerful, but at least there's someone on this side, right? I think we can do it now, boys. This is our terms. In fact, some of my allies are a Miltech ahead of them. Actually, all of my boys are except for me. Cool. Armies are up. Let's just wait for these guys. Okay, I think we're good to go, man. Let's go ahead and declare on the Ottomans on our own terms. We're doing a reconquest for Zeta right there. Let's call in the Commonwealth, France, Bohemia, and QQ. We're actually doing pretty all right here, man. Um, yeah, Tunis, obviously, over here. Valencia isn't gonna do anything since they're disloyal. Or actually, they will. They will unsiege their land. So, yeah, none of their allies are... Wait, where's Bashkiria? I guess they didn't come in because they were busy with that, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we, we got this. Yeah, I'm still making... I'm still really good with money, too, so I think I am gonna go ahead and hire... Um, let's... Yeah, let's get the Grand Company up. Yeah, the Commonwealth is doing major work over here. Meanwhile, QQ, I don't even know what they did, but they're distracting some Ottoman armies. QQ got knocked out, but no big deal. These guys somehow made it here. <laughs> I'm here. Tunis is on low. I still can't make them do anything since no one is going to get them, so we'll have to deal with them later, man. Or I don't know. Do I just land in them and attempt to siege down their capital? Uh, I think I got it, because otherwise we'll have to fight... Uh, yeah, I'm piecing out of here before the Ottomans get anything else. Oh, actually, let's white piece Hasa here. That should give us a little bit of war score. There we go. And now, I don't know. Let's give Serbia these scores back right here. I should be able to take a little bit more. Let's hmm, go for forts, maybe. Forts. That's a fort right there. Where do they have other forts? Yeah, let's take stuff here too. And yeah, maybe something like this, huh? Actually, I should be able to take a bit more. Come on, give me one more province, dude. Fine. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do one more war versus the Ottomans, but I'm satisfied with this for now. We did knock them down a little bit, even though they still have the same allies. Very long and tough game, boys. Very long and tough game, man. Annexed Milan. Let's annex Serbia. I don't know why they've allied each other with my uh, other vassals right here. I didn't even notice when that happened, but they're not this loyal. This is going to give us a gold mine. Not that we're struggling with money. We're pretty good on cash. I got to continue to consolidate here because the game is turning too chaotic and overwhelming for me, and I don't really like that. So I'm going to go ahead and declare on Venice, full annex them, and take this province from Austria as well. No, I called in France a bit ago into this war, and I'm noticing something, man. <laughs> They're colonizing. Their armies aren't here, right? I don't I don't think so. Yeah, they got a bunch of stacks in the New World, but where is the majority of their army, I wonder? I can't see it over here as the thing. No, oh, who knew that freaking Oldenburg would be the annoying one in every war, man? Either way, I white piece Austria because we'll have plenty of opportunities to fight them later on. So, yeah, there's Venice done. Finally almost done paying off the loans from that initial Ottoman war. Luckily, I can go ahead and take a new burger loans now and what i'm gonna do is get another stack up and running here right now since we're uh, pretty good on main power after advancing pretty far down uh quantity ideas let's fight man two on now wait will they accept being diplomatized no they won't okay so this is starting the leader of the protestant league is lubeck the leader of the catholic one is obviously oldenburg if i get into a war versus castile that would stop them doing that so let's see how the sides play out done i'm actually gonna go with monastic breweries here for tier 7 since uh it's really good for the economy done with quantity as well there's even more goods produced so yeah that's a pretty good uh goods produced modifier right there there's serbia full annexed too which is perfect now we can dev up that uh gold mine after we go ahead and full state all of this perfect man there's encouraged dev we are pretty decent with diplo points right here so let's just go ahead and uh, bump it up finally got valencia loyal by placating even though they're being supported by castile and russia man awesome let's get these guys out of here because i can't stand seeing them anymore the gold mine got deved up and i noticed a pop-up that the ottomans joined the catholic side obviously it's because they expect me to join this side yeah all of my adversaries are on this side man the ottomans castile Oldenburg, Russia, all of my boys are on the Protestant side. Bohemia, France. Yeah, the Commonwealth isn't in it. I don't think so. Let's let's go ahead and see it. Where is it? There it is. There's a religious league. So yeah, the green guys are everyone I hate. I'm not gonna get involved in this. And maybe me and the Commonwealth, if the Commonwealth doesn't join, maybe me and the Commonwealth could do something to the Ottomans while this is going on. We'll see. But get prepared for major lag. By the way, yeah, I'm doing some culture converting because as the Pope, you can't actually become an empire and auto accept all the Italian ones, so. Finally, a workaround to destroy Bologna without fighting Oldenburg. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna declare on Genoa and uh, basically Bologna is gonna be an ally in this war. I, I am gonna full annex them though. 
All right, I forgot to keep passing these Council of Trent things, man. <laughs> and it ended. <laughs> oh, I'm a dumbass. But there's that. I think the Religious League War started. It did. It did. It's happening right now. Yep. So these are the guys that are fighting each other. Yeah, the Protestant side is going to win. Or actually, no, the Catholic side is going to win, which is good for me, I guess. But since I'm supposed to kind of back them anyway. But yeah, that doesn't bode well for France and Bohemia. They'll be very weakened. But yeah, man, could me and the Commonwealth do something right here? This is going to be going on for a while. The Ottomans may lose quite a bit of manpower. Can me and the Ottom uh, me and the Commonwealth take them down? Okay, that's an unconditional from Genoa. So let's full annex them and Bologna. Okay, I'm, I am going to get coalitioned after this, but who, who gives a frick? No way, Bohemia actually declared. Because only the Protestant guys can declare. So Bohemia thought they could win this. Oh, <laughs> I can fight Trent. Let's go ahead and spy on them quick. And silly too, actually. Okay, what I'm going to do now is declare on Trent. That way uh, I can take that province. Austria will come in. I can take Trieste. And silly will come in as well. I can take silly. Help Commonwealth. There we go. Three more provinces that I need. Perfect. There we go. I'm going to peace out everyone all at once. And now the only provinces left to conquer over in Italy. And of course, the Genoa and Venice trade nodes are this one from Tunis and four from Florence. Interesting that we haven't touched Florence at all, man, uh, during this point in the game. So, uh, yeah. And we're about to annex Valencia and finally be rid of those uh, scoundrels. Because uh, they've been really, really annoying this entire campaign. Not worth it. Finally. All right, boys. I think uh, that's about enough for now, man. I gotta go get lunch. But after I come back, I think I am gonna pounce on the Ottomans. Because the thing is, they can't peace out of this war, right? And the war score is still kind of mid. It's <laughs> See? Uh, Oldenburg full occupied, Bohemia full occupied, and all of the battles are over here. So the Ottomans can't get out of that war. I think me and the Commonwealth can definitely take advantage of this. And uh, try and take as much as we can from the Ottomans. I really don't need that many provinces from them, man. It's like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then it's 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 provinces. That's not that bad, man. Probably like 60%, 70% war score to get this will be enough. Maybe even less. Oh, and then I have to fight France, which that's not going to be easy either. But at least it's going to be easier than the Ottomans. So yeah. All right, boys, I'm back after lunch, man. War of the Protestant League, obviously still going on. Ottomans still busy with that. They're super, super low on manpower. Of course, as we all know, they can conjure up many troops and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. I think we can do this. Definitely not going to take this because you gain war score on this from winning battles and we can't really beat them in battles. So let's just do a uh, conquest for, yeah, for Athens, man. For Athens, this uh, Greece uh, claim. Let's call on the Commonwealth. I actually like these numbers quite a lot. That's like 290,000 versus... What's that? Like 140? I think we can do this. All right. I actually nap Constantinople super quick and I was able to cross as well. Nice. I'm, I'm bombing forts. We're sieging down a whole lot. I really haven't encountered a big Ottoman army, man. See? Yeah, look. There literally are no battles. I haven't engaged in a single one. I did see a... 30 something K stack somewhere over here, but they're, yeah, they're still in this, man. I'm even helping out Bohemia by unseaging some Ottoman stuff over here, even though it's a different war, you know, you can do that. So yeah, I'm just trying to piece out Tunis now for Corsica. Yeah, this is the provinces we need, man. All of these are in the Ragusa trade node and yeah, that's it. This is literally all we need. Oh, this isn't occupied by me. I can transfer occupation though very easily just like that. Yeah, 80% war score, baby. Let's keep pushing. I think we can get it. Okay, war just ended. I got the Emperor trying triumphant thingy which means catholic one now the ottomans are out of this but they're very occupied down to 60k they were at 90 something k when i declared yeah me and the commonwealth can take them down easily finally corsica and let's make them in their alliance with the ottomans and now the ottomans will accept as well yeah this was the easiest war versus them man sure we'll need like a trillion admin points to core it up but luckily i'm stacked uh Oh, I'm, I'm actually going to get coalition here, but we got a piece out. That's it. It's literally only one war versus Florence and one war versus France and we're done. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. 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 Yes. Embrace the printing press. Nice. Our biggest problem is going to be this, man. I thought by now these idiots would have stopped converting, but look out of freaking four that are near me three are converting stuff in my provinces, man. Like when does this stop? It's so stupid. Uh, the freaking zeal. I can't. Ah, look. 
Look, look, zeal, 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 zeal. I yeah, this might be out of my control, boys. But yeah, by the way, started integrating Dalmatia, our last subject. Built up two more stacks. Actually, let me finish this one off. Oh, yeah, I don't have the cash. You know what? I am going to take out a 700 ducat loan just to build two cannons. That does put me over force limit, but literally no big deal. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and use favors to make France break their alliance with Florence. They won't accept trust towards Florence. No CB, France is a great power. No CB on what? I have a CB on Florence. Yeah, I do. Oh, they won't even accept. <laughs> then what was the point of doing that then? <laughs> and another quick and easy war done. Let's go ahead and full annex Florence. Extremely high development provinces, but AE isn't that bad since they're the last nation in Italy. And a coalition won't form as we know. There's uh, all of their money as well. And that's that. We've conquered the entirety of Italy. That's one goal accomplished. We can now take a mission right here, which is uh, crush the Italian cities, sweep the Po, island screens, it italian supremacy perfect man too bad you can never become an empire as the pope man that honestly that kind of sucks <laughs> but yeah now all we need to accomplish uh, this uh to have this be a success is to take this decision right here which we will be able to do as soon as we core up florence and pisa and then we only need five provinces in the valencia tree known from france yeah what was the goals again uh, conquer all of italy well yeah, conquer all of Italy, conquer the four trade nodes, form the kingdom of God, make everything Catholic, right? Ugh. Shoot, luckily France doesn't have strong allies, and I do got way more troops than them. Yeah, let's go ahead and dissolve that alliance, man. Oh, and let's throw our golden era too. Sweet. Yeah, sure. Dalmatia annexed. <laughs> this is great for me. Nice. Uh, I think I can take the decision. There we go. Let's declare the kingdom of God. Boom. All men under God enact the kingdom of God tier three government reform, which finally makes us an empire. We got education events, morale, prestige, devotion, month, uh, monarch admin skill plus two, minus 30% of point cardinal cost, plus 15% manpower and true faith. No, no, amen. All men under God. There we go. Perfect, man. Perfect. What do I need right now? I kind of need admin, actually. Yeah, perfect. Finally, an empire. Still over GovCap, by the way. I mean, I'm kind of the faith. Why not be defender of the faith? It is time to pick up another idea group. We're nearing the end here. <laughs> Religious won't help us out at all. The only reason, like I said, boys, I can't convert these is because of zeal, right? And I actually don't know how long that'll be. So it really doesn't matter what we go with here. Might as well stack making money, I guess. So let's just go economic, man. All right. Truce with France is up. I guess it's time for our final war where we need to take the rest of the provinces in the Valencia trade node. They're only allied to Morocco. Morocco is pretty powerful. They got about 50k-ish troops, but no big deal. Let's declare for Montpellier and uh, boom, there we go. Oh, Portugal can come in. Yo, why is uh, Paris called Perigi? What's going on? <laughs> oh, they swapped culture. They must have swapped culture. Um, yeah. Uh, France's primary culture is Tuscan, dude. I think that's why it is, right? But it's not called Perigi in, in Italian, is it? Carnuto sounds French. Yeah, I think they culture swapped the Tuscan, man. Not just with the queen, with the heir, too. Oh, look. Well, I gotta say, this was really easy. I don't know why I hyped them up so much. We didn't even do any battles. <laughs> we didn't even do any battles. That's it. Uh, fine. I'll, I'll end it, I guess. There we go. Oh, come on. I really can't be bothered to do this now. I'm sorry, Commonwealth. I really am, but... Ah, that's it, man. But now that I've cored everything up, uh, it's time to tell you guys the bad news. You see, I can't be bothered to wait around for the religious zeal on these provinces to go away. Now look at this, boys. Istria, for example, the first province right here that we uh, sort of need to convert. It's right here, right? The religious zeal is active until 1611, man. That's 28 years of waiting around and doing nothing just to be able to convert this province. Rijeka right here. Let's see. Uh, 1587. That one's not that bad. Uh, 1598. That's so long. This one right here. 1605. So really, boys, there's there's just no point sitting around and waiting for these. Um, good job, Commonwealth, by the way. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's just no point in sitting around and waiting to convert all of these provinces, even though converting everything is one of our goals. Can it be done? Yes, if I just sit around and do nothing and wait for them, you know, for the modifier to go away. But I got other things to do too, boys. So I think that's what we're going to call it, man. We had four goals for today. Conquer all of Italy, uh, form the kingdom of God, conquer Valencia, Genoa, Venice, and Ragusa, and convert everything to Catholic. I guess three goals, maybe, if you want to count Italy in this right here. So yeah, let's say three goals. And uh, this other one, I'm just simply not going to accomplish, even 
even though it can be accomplished. So I think we're going to call it either 100% success or a 66.6 to 75% success, depending on the number of goals and how you look at it. But uh, either way, that's a success for me. And I think that's where I'm going to call it. But uh, yeah, there you go, man. Start it off as the papal state in the provinces that you guys know that we start off in. And uh, because I had to record today's video before the previous A to Z actually came out for you guys to watch, I couldn't, you know, read the comments and see the goals that you guys put for me, unfortunately. Uh, it just is what it is. So that's why I decided to do my own goal that I thought was going to be way more chill than anything you guys would suggest to me. But uh, it turned out to be way more annoying than anything you guys can suggest to me. So the next A to Z, I'm just going to, the goal is going to be dev tax once and then that's it. Game over. Just kidding, by the way. But uh, yeah, start off as the Pope man with the classic Pope opening, fighting Naples, fighting Provence. And then of course we started doing everything we needed to in order to accomplish our goals. Fought Castile and Aragon a couple of times to expand over here and reconquer Naples, of course. Fought the Ottomans a bunch of times initially with their declaration on us. A slow slog expansion through Italy, fighting a bunch of these guys. You saw everything, man. No need to really get into it that much when it was just so, so much that I don't even remember what we did. But uh, yeah, man, made it to uh, the tier seven gov reform. These are all the ones we took. Took quality trade, quantity, economic, really good idea groups for the Pope, I feel like, for a standard tall-ish gameplay such as this. Making very nice income, by the way, 121 ducats in the positive with a pretty big army that I could make even bigger. I could run another stack, so that's awesome right there, man. Making so much income from trade, it's actually really good. The share from trade is pretty nice as well for what we own. 35% goods produced. Accomplished some missions, didn't really focus on them too much, like I said at the start. Nice crown and ownership by this point. I could even seize once again. There we go, more than 40%. Privileges still active and stuff like that. So yeah, that's all sweet and dandy right there. These edicts active, you know what it is, man. Built a bunch of buildings, uh, courthouses almost in every single province, workshops in a lot of the high value trade good provinces. These, these are all the churches right here, all the marketplaces. I could build a lot more, honestly. Some army buildings here and there, some manufacturies here and there, and uh, you know the drill. That is all that we did. Pretty nice lead as well. Work with the alliances and the subject pretty well as well. Uh, you know, Valencia had Castile and Russia supporting them at a certain point. Luckily, I could get them loyal again. Luckily, I could annex them and those wars or that initial war versus the Ottomans was a real, real slog, man. And the second one versus them as well. The third one really wasn't bad at all when me and the Cam when me and the Commonwealth pounced on them while the War of the Protestant League was going on. I really didn't expect that declaration. And, you know, I made out... Uh, you know, Castile, Aragon, France, and Austria, and the Ottomans to be sort of the big final bosses of the game. But really, the war with Austria and the war with France was easy. The war was with Castile and Aragon were easy too. They were just pretty long. But the ones with the Ottomans obviously were the most annoying ones. So, uh, yeah, I feel like we had pretty good uh, dynamic goals, different areas of expansion today. And uh, you guys may have come up with something crazier, but I came up with something... Uh, <laughs> a lot more stupid or so definitely next time i'm going to try and wait for you guys to post your goals but uh either way man even though we couldn't convert everything due to zeal i am counting this campaign as a success you can you know consider it whatever you want to either a 66 0.6% success or a 75% success, like I said, depending on the goals. But uh, yeah, man, we managed to form the kingdom of God. We managed to conquer all of Italy. We managed to conquer these four trade nodes right here. I could convert everything if I just sit and wait. But really, boys, I got other things to do and uh, other videos to record because the you know the latest Tinto Talks Dev Diary just dropped today, talking about government reforms and uh, a new map mode, which uh, I think confirms the starting date is in 1337 so i gotta go and make a video about that as well so that's about it but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as the papal state in a to z has been a success and that has been the papal state in a to z let me know in the comments below what i should do with this nation next week if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you like the content i want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video